Hi everyone. Today the topic is Chemical Engineering Thermodynamics Basic Concepts Part 5. In this we discuss about the three laws of thermodynamics. So first law is Geroid Law of Thermodynamics. The Geroid Law of Thermodynamics states that if two bodies are individually in equilibrium with a separate third body, then the first two bodies are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. So here we can see the three bodies A, B and C. So here this A, B and C are in equilibrium. Then A, B and A, C are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. So that represents the zeroth law of thermodynamics. Next one, first law of thermodynamics. So, first law of thermodynamics is also known as law of conservation of energy. Sometimes it is represented as law of conservation of energy. So, this law, first law of thermodynamics states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, but it can be changed from one form to another form. So, the equation for the first law of thermodynamics can be written as delta u is equal to q minus w where delta u is change in internal energy of the system q is heat transfer between the system and surroundings w is work interaction of the system with its surroundings so this can be represented in a diagram that is a piston cylinder assembly take a piston cylinder assembly where the heat is added to the system that is Q and internal energy is U1. So then when work is done by the system, the piston cylinder assembly will be raised and the internal energy is increased to U2. So the change in internal energy U1 minus U2 is equal to delta U which is equal to Q minus W that is heat added to the system minus work done by the system. So from this we can see energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transformed from one form to the other form. So this is the mathematical representation of the first law of thermodynamics. Next one, second law of thermodynamics. No apparatus can operate in such a way that its only effect is to convert the heat absorbed by a system completely into work done by the system. So, if you take any apparatus, so no apparatus can be operated in that way that its only effect is to convert the heat absorbed completely into work done. That is 100% work done by the system. It's not possible. So, that is the statement of second law of thermodynamics. So, in another way also we can represent the second law that is second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy in an isolated system always increases. So, we are representing in the form of entropy. So, entropy of the universe only increases and never decreases. So, the second law of thermodynamics mathematical expression is delta S universe is greater than or equal to 0. So, here delta S universe is the change in entropy of the universe. So always the change in entropy of the universe will be greater than or equal to 0. It will never be less than 0. So it always increases but never decreases. That is the second law of thermodynamics. So here we can see the heat transfer will be happening from a hot body to a cold body. So the entropy of any natural and spontaneous process either increases or remains constant. But, is a, but it does not decrease. So delta S is equal to 0 for reversible process and delta S greater than, greater than 0 for irreversible process. So combining these two we can say delta is greater than or equal to 0 for any process. So the change in entropy is greater always greater than or equal to 0 for any process. That is the mathematical statement of second law of thermodynamics. So in this I have given the simple definitions of the Zeroth law, first law and second law of thermodynamics. So this is the, uh, today's topic. 
If you like my video, please subscribe my channel. Please like, share and comment my videos. Thank you very much.